Roswell Flight Test Crew. Here today with Andrew Teach, who's the President and CEO of FLIR Systems, and we're sitting in the lobby of their headquarters right here in Wilsonville, Oregon. How are you doing today, Andrew? I'm well, Patrick. It's been just over a year now since FLIR entered the civilian drone space with your partnership with DJI to produce the Zenmuse XT. How's that been since you've entered this market? It's really quite amazing, though, that when consumer drones hit the market, we, we saw this as a huge opportunity because it was fundamentally happening at the same time that we were pursuing consumer markets for thermal imaging. So as we were driving down the size, weight, power and cost of thermal imaging cameras, the same thing was happening with airborne platforms, of course moving from very expensive manned helicopters to inexpensive and ultimately consumer grade drones. And similarly, stabilization technology coming along using MEMS uh, accelerometers and IMUs to allow us to do stabilization much more or less expensively than the way we do it and you know our million dollar gimbals that we build here in this building. And now just about a month ago at CES you guys released the Duo, the new which combines a lepton sensor and a visible light camera. It's going really well and we've been really focused on making sure that they stay in stock so people can buy these. You know this gives you something that you can pull right out of the trunk, get up in the air and get flying. And when you think about it in terms of Duo, we have always had an approach of FLIR to have a value ladder in our products. Products that serve a wide range of applications and a wide range of price and performance points. And Duo forms the bottom rung on that ladder. So we've got a product that starts at $999. It gets a thermal imager, a visible imager, and our really powerful MSX algorithm in the air on an inexpensive sort of similarly priced platform. And it just opens up a whole new world of consumer and commercial application. What is a boson sensor? And if you can, tell us sort of what's coming in, what's in the works right now. So the first thing I think that's interesting to look at is our Tau core. The first version of it came out 2008 and then subsequently it's had revisions in 2010 and 2012. Very popular today, it's still one of our best selling cores, but you know you see from a size, weight and power standpoint this is about an inch and a half cube. This is what the Zenmuse XT is based on, but we've really been pushing on reducing size, weight, power and cost of our payloads so you can get to a broader application space. We pushed that really hard and launched back in 2014 this little guy, the Lepton, which uh, you know is just insanely small, and our engineers really took us seriously when we said we want to see a dramatic reduction in size, weight, power, and cost. That resulted in the Lepton development. Lepton is in the heart of the Duo. It's also being used on the Prox Dynamics Black Hornet. It actually was how we actually started that relationship with Prox. You know, we pushed on that size, weight, power, and cost lever with the development of our next generation high performance core, and that's this here, and that's Boson. And just for you know comparison purposes, you know, you can look at that compared to the, the Tau and see, you know, it's a dramatic reduction in size, weight, and also in power in terms of its electronics. This core offers the same resolutions that you can get with a Tau, so you can get it in QVGA and VGA resolutions, but it's so much smaller and lighter as a result of smaller pixels, better packaging, much more efficient electronics, and this also has a very high level of signal processing capability inside the core. So we can start to do things like uh, very high level image processing to improve picture quality, but we can also run some artificial intelligence algorithms on this core um, with the processor that's in it. So those have been you know, big developments on the core front. FLIR is now a drone company. We acquired Prox Dynamics towards the tail end of last year. And interestingly, Prox was one of our first Lepton OEM customers. So they developed this tiny little helicopter for military applications and wanted to put a thermal imager on it, did an industry-wide survey and came to the conclusion there was nothing out there other than Lepton and we established a partnership with them and they began integrating them into the Black Hornet helicopter. And it's really quite remarkable when you see that. I'm still thinking back to the day when the principals of Prox Dynamics were here actually at the facility. We are in the parking lot just outside here flying it. The helicopter was hand launched it was literally within 10 feet and I was like, where is it? It's gone and, and we had it flying uh, about a kilometer away outside one of the industrial buildings here sort of <laughs> looking in the building and it was just remarkable, um, both thermal and visible a kilometer away. And then when it comes back, it's the same thing. Everybody's looking in the sky for it 
and the next thing you know it's six feet over your head. Just amazingly stealthy. When I first saw it, frankly the first thing I said to the founder of the company is tell me how this is different than a toy helicopter. And he's actually the inventor of the toy <laughs> RC helicopter, but the reality is it's entirely different. I mean every single element of this is custom designed and honed for size, weight, power and flight dynamics. It's really an amazing flying machine. And to really prove that point, we're talking about something that flies a Lepton IR thermal camera, a visible camera, and it weighs three sheets of paper. That is amazing. Now, as you know, here at the Roswell Flight Disc Group, we love drones. And I would so much like to try out one of these Black Hornets. I'd be happy to trade you this <laughs> Blade M MCX2 yeah. helicopter, which is, I believe is about the same size and it's, shape. It's actually a little larger, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah. So if, if you'd be willing to make that trade, I will have this on a shelf. Just give me a call anytime. Right. We can meet in a parking I'm, lot. I'm going to take that under oh, advisement. Okay. Yeah, the PD-100 is at a different price point, but <laughs> we'll take that under advisement. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Should we be looking to FLIR to have other actual platforms moving beyond sensors into the space of having your own flying machines? We want to get sensors in the air providing data back to our customers that is useful. And to the extent that there's an airframe involved in that, we'll make a decision about how we can best execute it. You know, from a, a horizontal standpoint, we today, you know, sell the Duo product, the View product line, we sell cores and components to other suppliers. We have the partnership with DJI, so the Zenmuse XT has come out of that and there'll be more to come in that arena as well. But as we look at the business from a vertical standpoint, you know, we start looking at system solutions where we want to provide an airframe, a sensor, software to get a job done. We're going to be offering a complete solution that gets the mission accomplished, not just uh, you know, as a flying machine. Well, that makes perfect sense. Not that we don't love flying machines. Yeah. Well, Andrew, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. I really appreciate it. And I also want to just extend our appreciation on behalf of the whole Roswell Flight Test Crew team for everything you've done to support us. Just such a thrill to have the opportunity to work with, with your company and to be able to share what you're doing with the world. I think it's great to have a competent third party that's out there objectively evaluating the technology, and we really appreciate it. Well, Andrew, thanks so much again. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. And from FLIR headquarters in Wilsonville, Oregon, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off. <laughs>